Hey guys, this is GPix13. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial today, and it is about a subject that's not really huge, but you know, sometimes it can get kind of annoying for people, including myself. Um, I was recently setting up my Microsoft Outlook 2007, and I was having a lot of problems getting my signature to display correctly, and it ended up getting to the point where I couldn't, like, you couldn't put a picture next to. Uh, group of text um, and I'll show you an example of that I, uh, I ended up having to make an HTML signature and I was looking around online and I couldn't find really great of help at least specifically for what I was trying to do I did end up finding a solution and so I'm going to turn that solution into a video tutorial for you guys uh, just in case you for some reason would like to do this or whatever so um, here we go. We're going to get started. Number one, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Outlook. Outlook. I have 2007, so go ahead and go into there. Go into Options, Mail Formats, and Signatures. And so I am a sophomore at Illinois College, and so I have started to create this signature. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new one. We'll just call this Test Signature so I can show you. So we have this blank signature so go ahead and just I don't know I mean for mine I just typed in my name I typed in what year I'm gonna graduate I also typed in the fact that I was worked for the IT department and I will type in um, www.google.com I don't know um, okay so well screw that actually um, what did I put Oh, computer science. Okay, so I'm a computer science major, so this sits over. Okay, good stuff. Um, okay, now just go ahead and click OK. I know that's probably not exactly what you want it to look like if you're re viewing this tutorial, but uh, so just go ahead and click OK. It might ask you to save. I already saved it, so it's not going to. Click OK out of that, and we'll just exit out of that for now. Um, you're going to want to go into your Windows Explorer. I am on Windows 7. You might have Windows Vista. Windows Vista is the same. Windows XP will actually have you go to a different directory that I will list in the description of the video. Uh, but you'll go to C, your well, your main hard drive, which is normally C. Uh, you'll go to Users, you'll go to your name, and you will go to App Data. Now, if App Data is not showing, you will want to go over here to Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Once you have that set, you'll see this hidden folder called App Data. You'll go to Roaming. You will find a Microsoft, and then you will go down to where's that signatures. Okay, so now here are your signature files. Uh, there is only one file that you need to be concerned with, and that is the HTML or the HTM file. And I already have mine for Illinois College, so I'm going to go down to the test signature one, and I'm going to click edit. Now what it does is it brings up the signature. I'll end that line break right there. And so let's say I want a picture in there. And I want to put that Illinois College logo. Well, I want a nice row of dashes. We'll do that. Um, and let's say I want a picture right here. Okay. Uh, we'll go over here to insert, and you will browse to find, which is kind of convenient right here. Uh, you will browse to whatever picture you want to be using. Right now, as it is, uh, the text wrapping for this, you can right click on the picture, go to text wrapping, and you can choose behind or in front of. I just choose one or the other, it doesn't really make a difference, and you will drag it along to where you want it sitting at. Um, I think that looks pretty good right there. One thing I did notice is that Outlook actually moved the logo down a little bit, so we're going to move this up just a hair of what I actually want it to be at, so that when Outlook re, uh, redraws the logo, it'll redraw it a little bit lower. Uh, I did find that um, to occur. So now that's pretty much what I want it to look like. I will go ahead and take that and I can make it a different color. I will bold and italicize it. I will make everything else a gray and I will italicize that as well. So now we look pretty snazzy at this point. Um, over dashes. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're just going to save that. Uh, don't change the extension. Don't do save as. Just save it. Just save the file. Uh, close out of that go ahead and restart Microsoft Outlook and you will try to create a new message and let's see we have our signature somewhere around here it's a good
go uh, insert signatures. We'll insert our test signature. There we go. So it's a little bit bigger just because my other one uh, I changed the font size on. But I don't know if you noticed this or not, but it did move it down a little bit um, from where it was at. Not too much. Uh, but there you go. So that's how you uh, that's how you would actually get a picture on the right side of your text or on the left side. I mean, you could literally put it anywhere. Uh, if I didn't, no, I do not. Uh, if I didn't go into that file and edit that, um, I can actually show you what it would what it would try to do. Um, so just test. Uh, if I tried to Jacob um, test signature. Okay, so let's say I try to insert a picture using this little link right here. You can only put a picture to the right of it like a certain kind of the text like it inlines with it or you can put it under it but you can't actually you can actually move it anywhere you can move it up but well somehow um, or it doesn't even let you resize it which is really stupid so that's kind of deceiving having those squares there yeah so uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to email me I'll try to help you out as best I can if not comment rate subscribe I'd love to hear uh, comments uh, so thank you for watching, and I am out. Thanks.